Hello, this is Sophomore Astrology. My name is Sarah, and for this video, I'm going to talk about the first Saturn return, or aka when your natal Saturn is in conjunction with the Saturn that is in transit. So um, be sure to like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram at Sophomore Astrology. I would really appreciate a follow there. And then also, um, I have a website, sophomoreastrology.com. There you can message me if you want to uh, book a birth chart reading with me. And then also you can find my blog there. I post on Wednesdays. I just talk about spiritual downloads. So you can look at those if you would like. Now to get into it, Saturn return. So what does Saturn return mean? Um, pretty much like Saturn was placed in a certain sign, you know, and in a certain house when you were born. And basically your Saturn return is when, you know, 29 years have passed. You're now 29 years old. And Saturn is exactly where it was when you were born in the sky, you know. Um, so, yeah, Saturn, um, it entered Aquarius in M March 21st, 2020. So also, I kind of feel like this will also relate to the the speed that uh, technology has, uh, you know, basically like, you know, like how technology has, t has taken off. Since this whole like global, you know, thing going on with how many changes have been going on with the world and everything like that, right? So I also feel like that's something to kind of put a bookmark on that I'll talk about later. But yeah, like um, right now also too, the reason why I'm making this video is because like I'm going through my own Saturn return. You know, I just turned 29 and I really have been feeling the squeeze that is Saturn, you know, because Saturn is a planet that represents time. It represents law and order and justice. You know, um, Saturn doesn't care about your feelings. It cares about did you follow the rules and did you go through the right regimen to get the things that you earned? Like Saturn is all about like you will receive what you earned. Whatever energy you put out there, you will get back. And honestly, since literally Saturn is returning back to where it was when you were born, Saturn is basically knocking on your door and asking you like, hey, did you pay this karmic debt? You know, um, did you learn all the things you were supposed to learn? Like Saturn will check on you and see where your progress is when you're 29. Because like Saturn is all about just checking like, because when I think about your Saturn return, that's literally like I thought about that quote where it's like, or I think it's like that biblical scripture saying like when i was a child i thought like a child i acted like a child i did childish things but when i became an adult i put away those childish things you know that is really what saturn return is testing you on like the visual i get about saturn return is just like i feel like you know if you're a child like um you know and you're you think of like yourself as like a wet towel you know and the moisture is just your childlike ways right i feel like saturn will wring you out to dry and squeeze out all that immaturity whether saturn return really makes you mature or it just makes you really reflect on your immature ways it'll make you look at yourself in ways you never thought you know because even me speaking personally like i've always kind of been told i was a mature person growing up but now with the saturn return no, like you really have to reflect on yourself because you think you're mature. You might be mature in certain ways, true, but Saturn return really makes you reflect. How much have I really grown as a person? You know, um, because yes, you might have been great planting certain seeds in your life, but then other places in your life, you've probably maybe never learned how to plant seeds. You know, whether we're talking about like career, relationships, finances, any area of the of your life that you can think of, friendships, you know, how in so many ways have you planted seeds? Because I kind of feel like Saturn return is also in another way saying like, how have you flourished as an adult? You know, um, I've been thinking a lot about the four elements, but a seed is so hard to really like grow you know, like a seed is so hardened and, and I know it's not calcified, but it kind of feels like it is. It's almost like a seed is a fossil in a way and how a seed could like really last um, a long time before it is actually planted. Right. But you need all four elements. You need water. You know, you need air. You need that oxygen to give it life. You need the soil. You need earth. And you also need the warmth of the sun to really make a seed. Uh, I think the word is germinate and really like grow, you know, and I mean, 
Saturn as a planet is a very authoritative planet. You know, it really wants the hard facts before it cares anything about somebody's feelings, how you feel, your emotions, your excuses, whatever. Saturn just wants to collect that check and call it a day, right? Um, that's really the energy of Saturn. So it's like you can't really cry to Saturn and really get your way about things. Saturn doesn't care. You know, it wants the proof. It wants the hard, cold facts. It wants to see the maturity. It wants, like, Saturn wants to just know you've learned your lessons in life. It, it really does not care about how you feel, your feelings, the way you might sweet talk people. When you turn 29, you might have known how to sweet talk people. That's not going to fly after your Saturn return, or at least it, within your Saturn return. Those maneuvers that you would use before to get over or to get by or whatever, that's not going to work with your Saturn return. Um, also want to say too, like, um, it's also about because Saturn is the timekeeper, the keeper of time, you will age more during your Saturn return. Like, honestly, for me, because my Saturn in my birth chart is in Aquarius. So when Saturn really became placed in Aquarius again, I felt age. I really felt like I aged a lot, especially physically. Like I threw out my back uh, last year. Like <laughs> I felt it in my bones. Like I felt the the age in my bones. I've never felt that before. Also too, like when I would work out in the gym, I can't work out like I used to. I got to be easy on my knees. I can't just like dip into a lunge like I used to. I feel it way differently than I ever have before. So Saturn return will make you age differently. You're, you're going to have to stretch before you do any activity. Um, you can't just wing it like you used to when you were 20 something years old, right? Um, also, too, I also want to say like it also because this Saturn is in Aquarius, like I was speaking before, I think it's very interesting that like the all the stay at home orders and everything like that happened March 2020, because that is also when Saturn was uh transitioned into aquarius right and we are now in the age of aquarius and within the age of aquarius it's like that's where all that technology boom just happened you know people had no choice but to uh kind of lean on technology to keep doing the things that they need to do you know um I felt like everyone kind of felt that squeeze of Saturn being in an Aquarius because it was like there was a lot of restriction and a lot of that restriction was related to technology as well. So also, too, I kind of feel like this is a different wave of the Saturn returning for people. You know, Saturn will be different from now on because we are in the age of Aquarius and Saturn has now returned into Aquarius with all this technology boom. Because last time I believe Saturn was in Aquarius was from like the 1991 to 1993. So technology has definitely greatly advanced since then. And I really do account that to Saturn being in the sign Aquarius specifically, you know, and um, yeah, just like <laughs> everyone has their own experiences with life, you know, and I mean, some people, depending on their placements and aspects and where everything is placed in their chart, you know, you might have already felt squeezes of Saturn in different areas. But honestly, when you turn 29, if you have the blessing of turning 29 as well, like being able to reach that age, then you really do grow as a person. You become that seed that flourishes, that germinates and really grows, you know. And if you're into tarot, you know, this whole time, like maybe in your 20s, you were in the seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. And I really like encourage people like really like learn in your 20s because by the time you turn 29 Saturn's going to knock on your door and ask you what you learned you know and you want to have like good answers right so um yeah so that's pretty much like my take on the Saturn return is if anyone else has either experienced their Saturn return and remembers and would like to like just comment something below in the comments feel free to if you're experiencing your Saturn return let me know and then if you haven't experienced it yet like I would still want to know like you know what if you're afraid of it anxiety or whatever if you're into astrology and you kind of already heard what the Saturn return means just let me know so with that, I just want to say thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this and you have a good rest of your day.